Hi everyone, I hope you're doing great today. So real quick, um, I want to share a clip with us and I believe this clip is already trending all over the place. But you know, the reason I want to actually make a little comment on this is because there's something that I am seeing in what this so-called preacher said in Congress that I believe a lot of people are not paying attention to. But I will let you know that when we get back. So let's watch that clip right now. Here it is. We ask it in the name of the monotheistic God, Brahma, and God known by many names, by many different faiths. A man and a woman. By the way, you just heard right. A man who was praying to open the 117th Congress just closed his prayer by saying amen and a woman. Amen and a woman. A gender sensitive term is what they have now turned amen to. This man is telling us that the man in amen is actually referring to male man and he decided to be gender balanced. He decided to be politically correct so that it wouldn't look like he is discriminating against women. So he wanted to be more inclusive and he said, a man and a woman. But who is this man? This is him right here. His name is Representative Emmanuel Cleaver, Democrat, a liberal from Missouri. From Missouri. Guess what else you don't know about him? He's actually an ordained United Methodist minister. An ordained United Methodist minister. Does not know that the man in Amen has got nothing to do with gender. And he had to include women so that women don't get offended that he has men and didn't include them. This man was praying a prayer to open the first session of the 117th Congress. If that doesn't tell you what the Congress of this 2021 is made up of, if that doesn't tell you the season we live in, I don't know what will. They just simply told you right now that we have not entered into the era of the one world religion. One world religion becomes the state religion. It becomes the official religion of every nation state on earth, not just the United States of America. And so you heard also that some congressmen or some legislators were trying to tell Joe Biden and Kamala Harris to use all the power they have to remove God completely from the United States of America. It's there. So very soon you're going to see them take away in God we trust. You're going to see them take away one nation under God. All of that is going to disappear because now we have a monotheistic God. We have a God that is gone, going by so many names and so many appearances. The God of the one world religion. And that God of the one world religion is a satanic God. That's the God that rules right now. And they just opened the 117th Congress with a man and a woman. But look at the God that an ordained United Methodist minister. Look at the God that this man is praying by. Let me read you about this God. Brahma is a four-faced Hindu deity who was born from a golden egg and created the earth and all things on it according to the mythology. And this is also documented in Encyclopedia Britannica. He was later believed to have come out of a lotus that emerged from the navel of Vishnu, another Hindu deity, a Hindu deity, a united Methodist minister ordained just prayed in the name of a Hindu deity and called on the names of all the other deities to close a supposedly Christian prayer. One world religion born on world stage 
and has now become America's state religion. This is exactly what they just told you. Because even someone who does not know about Christianity, not to talk of an ordained minister, should know that the word Amen, often translated as so be it, finds its root in the Hebrew for faithfulness or fidelity. It has no gender connotation. It does not have anything to do with gender. This is exactly what Justin Trudeau of Canada did a few years ago when somebody was saying mankind and he said, no, it's better to say people kind just so that we'll be more inclusive. Unfortunately, in Canada, our volunteering as a charitable religious organization is extremely difficult. Extremely. That's why in actuality we cannot do free volunteering to help our neighbors in need as we truly desire. So that's why we came here today to ask you to also look into the policies that religious charitable organizations have in our legislation so that it can also be changed because maternal love is the love that's going to change the future of mankind. So we'd like you to look uh, we, we like to say people kind, not necessarily mankind, because uh, yeah. it's more inclusive. There we go, exactly. <laughs> yes, thank you. We can all learn from each other. So someone said mankind, Trudeau says mm, people kind is more inclusive than mankind. Anywhere there is man referring to man, whether it's actually for man or not, you have to put people because there are people who are genderless in our world today. There are people who are neither male nor female, neither men nor women. So you have to include them by saying people kind rather than mankind. Lunacy on steroids. That's the zone we have just crawled into right now. That's where we are today. That's where we are. My question is, are you ready? Because it's about to rain on the whole world. You're just going to be seeing madness every day and you almost want to close your ears. You almost want to grab your head and want to cry. That's what you're going to see everywhere. Amen and a woman. Amen and a woman. An ordained United Methodist minister. It's a shame. A shame is what our world has become. And it's going to get worse. May God help us. 